cool. Oh, here we go. Barnett and Jessica. Watch the game. And for those of you who are new to the red pill, those of you who are new to the red pill, if you guys are on the fence, if you guys are saying, man, like Donovan, Rolo, these guys all talk about these things I should be doing and saying it just doesn't feel right. I just don't, I don't see girls going for that. You need to watch the next five minutes of the show. Oh, what position? Like what's my favorite position? <laughs> Did you hear that? I used to play baseball. What position? What favorite position? There's the jerk boy. There's the charisma. And look at Jessica. Shit eating grin. Listen. <laughs> That was your ass. Ah, just kidding. I was a pitcher. That was amazing. I love that. <laughs> that was amazing. I love that. Right out of the gate, he goes to the sexual innuendo. So what position did you play? What? What position? Right? They've been talking to each other for 34 seconds. Immediately, he goes to the sex joke. And what does she do? She giggles like a little schoolgirl. Let's watch that again. Uh, what position? Like, what's my favorite position? <laughs> Listen. That was ah, just kidding. I was a pitcher. That was amazing. I love that. <laughs> that was amazing. I love that. Right? Guys, if you have the confidence, go for the kill. Well, I don't want to bring I don't want to bring anything up sexually because I gotta get to know her. You ain't gonna get to know her if you don't bring it up sexually. And trust me, if she's into you, she'll eat that shit up. She has no idea what Barnett looks like. But the dude is calm, he's cool, he's collected, he's confident. She has no idea he's a 6'4 Chad. No idea. But she said, what position? What, fa my favorite position? She ate it up. Ate it up. So, oh, here's more Red Pill Truth coming, guys. Oh, you're winning. All right, I see you. Do you see how turned on she is? She's got her legs crossed, her hands are near her neck. These are all, th this is the body language of a woman who is aroused. And she doesn't know what he looks like. Guys, this is the power of game. <laughs> Guys always talk about, well, all you need is looks and money. Listen, looks and money get you in the door, but game is what keeps you on our mind. Game is what gets in there. She has no idea what this guy looks like, and she's already hot and bothered. She's already flush. Look at her. <laughs> I see you over there. Uh-huh. I have a serious question for you around intimacy. Ooh, yeah. What do you think about... Dogs in the bed. <laughs> Listen. I am one, but no, I'm kidding. Oh yeah! He said, I am a dog in bed. There you go. Barnett is using what we like to call push-pull game. He'll get serious, then he'll crack a joke. He'll get serious, then he'll crack a joke. Don't be a clown. Don't crack sexual jokes all the time. Just every once in a while, pull it back and then get serious. Right? So they were obviously having a serious conversation. Barnett says, okay, things are starting to get a little dry. I'm going to wait for an opportunity. She says, what do you think about dogs in the bed? He's like, well, I don't, well I'm a dog. <laughs> Saw how she sit up and, and adjusted her tits. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Watch. Watch how she sits up. She adjusts her tits. It's almost like she's preening herself for someone who can't see her. That's the power of game. Watch again. Think about. Watch. Dogs in the bed. <laughs> I am Watch. Done, but no, I'm kidding. Yeah. Oh Look at that. Look at that. Hey, listen. Hair around her head, right? So you can see her neck perked up the boobs. Guys, she is aroused by this guy, and she does not know what he looks like. If you're the guy who always wants to say, well, it's looks and money, you need to watch this interaction. Barnett had four different bitches going after him, fighting over him. They even know what this dude looked like. That's the power of game, gentlemen. My dog sleeps with me every night, so... Now, did you see how he pulled it back? My dog sleeps with me every night. See? He got stupid. Well, I'm a dog in bed. He let her laugh it up. No, well, you know, my dog sleeps with me every night. This is push-pull, guys. Really? Yeah. I love that. Mine, too. Well, I'm just oh, I love that. Right? She's turned on. Anything he says, she's going to she's gonna be turned on by. Just, you know, I'm a big cuddler, and she knows I love it. That. So Here comes some more. He said, I'm a big cuddler. Oh, God. He's a beta. Watch and listen. Just like, Are you the big or little? What do you think? Probably the big. No. Nope. <laughs> Guys, this is fucking brilliant. This is fucking brilliant. This guy is running airtight game and he doesn't even know it. Number one, he, he made a joke about himself. That's the first thing, right? Number two, he very rarely answers questions directly. You guys notice that? When he's ready to inject a little bit of sexual humor and turn her on, what he does is he makes her work for the answer, right? So... 
he says, well, I like to, I like to, I like to cuddle into bed. Oh, that's so sweet. Yeah. I'd like to cuddle with my dog. And so she says, are you the big spoon or the little spoon? Most of us in here be like, well, I'm the big spoon. That's not going to elicit a reaction, but you can't say I'm the little spoon either because she'll be like, what? No, he made her work for the answer. Well, what do you think? Of course, she's going to say he's the big spoon. And by the way, by the way, the fact that she said big spoon means that she's already attracted to him. She's not giving him that little spoon. Guess what? He flipped the round. No, I'm actually the little spoon. Ha 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 ha. And she totally bought a hook, line, and sinker. Your dog is just like <laughs> waved over you. <laughs> this guy's awesome, awesome, dude. All around me. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Look at this, guys. Look at this woman. She's relaxed. She's having fun. She's showing teeth. She's turned on. This is how you escalate with women sexually, gentlemen. This is how it's done. The way, and Barnett does this with every woman he is with. Barnett is the quintessential example of a man having a strong enough mouthpiece to build attraction without women having to see him. And if he gets women like this behind closed doors, they don't even know what he looks like. I can't even imagine what it's like when he's out in public. Girls, eat this shit up every time. Ace and Spades is right. He ain't no goddamn rookie, that's for sure. I like Barnett's sexy voice and laugh a lot. Mm -hmm. I kind of like that he gave off a vibe that he was a player. Wait, say what? I'm sorry. But wait, hold on. I must not be hearing myself correctly. Girls are always talking about how they don't want players and how they don't want to date players and this and that and the other. But this girl just said, I like that he gave off the vibe of being a player. Let's run that back. <laughs> I like Garnett's sexy voice and laugh a lot. I kind of like that he gave off a vibe that he was a player. You want to know why that's important, guys? Because him giving off the vibe that he was a player means he's pre-selected. The vibe of a player means that other women want him. One of the ironclad truths of the red pill. Say it with me, gentlemen. Women don't want men that other women don't want. That's what this is. The player vibe is pre-selection. She has no idea what this dude looks like. All she knows is that he knows how to talk to women. She feels herself getting sexually aroused by him. She doesn't even know what he looks like. So she says, yeah, this guy's a player. And she could not be more turned on. Listen. Don't come at me with this looks and money is all it, uh, is all that it takes. Uh-uh. You guys go fuck yourself with that. Barnett is killing the game. 